Welcome back, my beautiful friends. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Zen Sams. Up in just a few minutes in my Healthy Minutes segment brought to us by Revere Securities, we're joined by fitness influencer, co-founder of Radical Body Transformations, Anthony Lolly. Today, we're chatting weight loss, amazing transformations, and how to combat child obesity. According to Health Day News, a new analysis of nationwide health survey data shows for the first time ever, more than one in five American kids is obese. From 2017 to 2022, rates of obesity rose for kids between two and five years of age, as well as 12 to 19 year olds. And the uptick was true for U.S. kids of every race and ethnic background. The pandemic has immensely impacted all classes of society, but the effects on children and adolescents are much more pronounced than on others. While obesity and its comorbidities in youth have always been a concern, the COVID-19 pandemic has proven to be one of the leading causes of health problems in kids worldwide. Nutrition counseling and diet education is vital in maintaining a healthy lifestyle now more than ever. And during the pandemic, staying at home, increased screen time due to online classes, reduced outdoor activities, and more snacking are the very contributing factors that have increased obesity rates and furthered morbidities associated with it. As opposed to specific infectious illnesses, obesity and its comorbidities are non-infectious and a slow-growing silent risk, guys. Hence, parents approach the pediatrician quite late in the disease process. And here to chat some more is the amazing Anthony Lolly. Welcome to the show, superstar. Thank you for having me. All right, Anthony, let's get right to it. You were once obese. Now you look fantastic. You turned your life around to set an example for your kids and to save your life, really. What inspired this 360-degree turn in your life? Uh, what was your heaviest weight, and how are things different for you now? My heaviest was 315 pounds, but I think I was a little bit heavier than that. You stopped stepping on the scale. And what contributed was actually my family. My daughter, who was two and a half at the time, said, Daddy, you're fat. I don't want you to die. And that was a culmination of what my wife was on top of me about, too. Like, lose weight, lose weight, or you're not going to be a good husband. You're not going to be alive. Interesting, because it took your the very people around you to promote you to your greatness, but usually the small voices are the ones that are heard the most. So congratulations to your daughter for your life-changing transformation. Um, Absolutely. Now listen, obesity has significant health consequences from cancers to diabetes, heart disease, asthma, uh, joint problems, I could go on and on, anxiety, right. depression, right? And kids are bearing the cost of this disease and adults are paying for the added health care costs of kids growing up with diseases and needing treatment. And kids who aren't eating nutritious diets tend to perform worse in school, Anthony. I know that for a fact from studying it, but also seeing what's going on in society. And obesity affects every area of a child's life. Now, in your opinion, is there a direct correlation between what you eat and what your kids are choosing to eat? And how are you curbing, how are you specifically curbing the sugar addiction in your house? Uh, well, yes, absolutely. There is a direct correlation. You know, what happened was when I was eating bad and my wife was eating good, I wasn't allowed to eat with the kids anymore because it was an argument. And uh, the kids actually, I was a bad influence on my children. They wanted to know why they couldn't have all the cheese and all the dairy and all the bad things that I was eating. And so that's kind of what like put a wedge between us. And I had this to kind of sneak and eat all the bad things. So absolutely, as much as my wife was indoctrinating them with vegetables and healthy eating, they saw dad getting away with murder. And honestly, I was actually just killing myself with the food. And it, it, I love the way you just said that, killing yourself with the food. You should coin that. But solving the obesity problem is, is going to be the work of American society as a whole, Anthony. And insurance companies should follow that this Affordable Care Act to pay for these weight management services as a way to prevent debilitating and costly disease. Uh, in my opinion, prevention and early treatment are so critical to maintain a healthy amount of weight for kids. And it starts uh, at the house. Now, a lot of weight gain occur occurs, Anthony, when kids are off school or when they're at home, not really doing much during the summertime, during off season. So community leaders and government officials should be advocating for feeding programs to provide healthy meals during this out of school time and, and to provide camps and programs with structured activity uh, during the summer. Um, that is where I'd like to pay my taxes. And I, that's where I want to see my dollars go. What advice do you have to parents dealing with an overweight child currently? 
Well, I think what happens is there's a lot of online gaming, right? So that's something that we can't really control. And the children's interest in their mindset is in and around that, especially now with uh, virtual reality and the metaverse and Oculus. But the good news is, is there's a lot of exercise and activity that you can do in those games. So, you know, kind of like play towards that. If they like gaming, they like doing that stuff, their home bodies now, then why not just put the right kind of foods around them while they're snacking? They're not seeing what they're eating. So make it something healthy. And while they're, while they're doing a game that's active, I think that's better to embrace what's going on than just to fight them on all angles. Yes, and I know what you're talking about. These dance games where they could get up, put the Oculus on, and and dance to a beat and move to an avatar, something that's right. more interactive where they can maybe, you know, have their fine motor skills could also be used OTPT when they're looking at a screen. So I do um, thank you for saying that because there's so many parents that are gained screens. But if you are that parent who's already in it with your child screening too much, then that's a great piece of advice. Now, um, obesity rises relentlessly relentlessly, Anthony, because whole industries profit from it. Uh, the problem worsens because far more resources are invested in propagating the problem than in fixing it without addressing the root cause. We know, for instance, that we have a food supply of willfully addictive junk food designed to maximize eating, yet they make it very, uh, very difficult, uh, futile recommendations for portion control, so to speak. And obesity gets worse, not mysteriously, but because our society has never made any serious effort to fix it what advice do you have when navigating the food aisles in the grocery well, stores a, well i think there's a lot of apps out there now that you can download for free that actually you can scan a barcode and it'll let you know what the ingredients are you know because honestly the words are getting more and more technical where even someone like myself has to google and research it so you really have to choose some standards. And right now there's a lot of online courses that you could take as a parent to really understand food sources and the nutrition and, and you know, what's an actual whole food and what's not. I think that it's, it's up to shows like yours to put the word out there and influencers that, such as myself to lead by example. Um, but I think slowly it's really, you know, the, the word is out there. It's just more expensive to eat healthy, unfortunately, but, um, but people are learning. People are learning. You're right. Well, listen, my friend, we're out of time. Thank you so much for coming on. You are an inspiration to the world. I Thank hope you. that your wife and your children are looking at you now you. and giving you much, much different commentary than they were prior to your weight loss. But thank you yes. so much. You're Thank awesome. you so much. Bye-bye. Guys, this is a national disgrace because this problem, this obesity problem, is one with dire consequences that we could fix at any time we genuinely want. We would be well advised to treat obes obesity in our children as we treat drowning, for after all, they're drowning in calories of ultra-processed food. What's needed is mandatory training about the dangers of overeating and not exercising, as well as a widespread reminder about eating healthy. You guys have to check out Anthony on the gram at Anthony Lolly, entrepreneur, co-founder of Radical Body Transformations. That was My Healthy Minutes brought to you by Revere Securities. Head to Radical Body Transformations at rbtshow.com. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. We'll be right back after this.